Another grease, another grease point. You're yeah. saying? Yep. Just right up here. Just right there. What are you playing with there? That's for the um, stern tube. For the, oh, uh, sorry, the what's it called? Cutlass. The rudder tube. Rudder tube. Yep. Rudder. Rudder. Stop. Just one pump. Rudder stock tube. Well, I always give everything one pump. Yeah. There's no point in pumping more. No. Really. That's it. Uh, oh, yeah. one more grease point. So you've got three grease points. That's one, two, and I'm going to show you the third one right now while I've got all the grease down in my hand. And this all came from me just wanting a rag. Yeah, <laughs> well, we got to it. That's good work. It's essential. You can't have the boat without knowing this. So, under here, you've got this guy. Now you've got your water tank. Yep. And your diesel tank. Yep. Yeah, this is the one bilge that I haven't given a wipe. Yep. Yeah, I'll leave that for you. Thank you. Oh no, let's need to play with it. Now down in here. What's the best way of cleaning them out and build is grease off it, degreases and things? It's well, just, just soapy water. Soapy water? Yeah. yeah. Um, you can use whatever you want, degreases, whatever. Um, I've got a stuffed pool noodle. A pool noodle, yeah. Down there, because everything drops in the bilge. Yeah, I see, yeah. Better to clean it up here than have it in the bilge. You'll find pool noodle in a few spots. Yeah, That's right. the centre bearing for the whole. Yeah. You see that guy? Yeah. So that stops the shaft from vibrating. Oh, yeah. Yep. And there's your, and there's your grease there's nickel. nickel there. Now I've only just greased that the other day, so. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah. Um, that's brand new this year. It's a pretty significant bearing, isn't it? It's a significant bearing. It wasn't very expensive, but it was very significant and it stopped the boat going. <laughs> so getting it in there, just, just ex explain that to me. Um, you get the boat up on the slip, you um, undo the coupling to the main shaft, you undo the um, main, the motor, coupling the main shaft with the motor. Coupling the main shaft with the motor, you undo those two little side bits on the side there. The retention yep. things. Yep. Allen key. Allen key, yep. And then the whole shaft will slide out. Oh, sorry, loosen that off as much as you can. Yep. Loosen the stuffing, stuffing box. box. So there's three couplings there's the stuffing box. Yep. There's that. Yep. And there's the couplings to the engine. Yep. So undo all that, and yep. then the shaft will just slide straight out the back of the boat. Yep. And then you replace the bearing and then slide the shaft back in. Yeah. Um, I doubt that you will probably And while you're doing that, you're doing the cut and while you're doing that, you're doing the cutlass bearing afterwards as well. Yeah. You should not need to replace the cutlass bearing that often. I'm told they last five to ten years. Yeah. yeah. Um that one should last five to ten years. Yep. So I don't expect you'll have to do that for a few years. Yep. But it does depend on how often you use it. Yep. So this boat's probably gone further than Gary took it in. 20 years in the last yeah. two. So all these, yeah. Okay. Everything fits absolutely perfectly. Yeah. A lot of the times there's only one way to lift shit. Yeah, yeah, like a puzzle, eh? going back to <laughs> Yeah. Um, while we're at it, let's go through a little bit further. I'll put this away.